Today I have the pleasure of enjoying a great product. It's the Great Gentleman. They make amazing mixers for cocktails and the uh, lovely things you mix in to make uh, amazing, delicious alcoholic beverages, you know? I love them, they're, they're so, so good. Since it's called The Great Gentleman, I thought I'd maybe uh, try to find a gentleman in the park to join me on my uh, amazing uh, journey of flavor discovery. Let's see, who can we find here? You seem like a gentleman. What's going on? <laughs> hey, dude. It's a good thing I found you. It's a good thing you found me. Is this a shirt on kind of interview? Oh, I'm keeping mine on. I got I got a lot of hair and uh, tits and... Uh... I know, it's coming in. <laughs> I was biking. I was biking on the way here. Tarps off. Oh, yeah? And uh, these, these, uh, these group of people was looking at me and I thought they thought it was cool, but I was just jiggling. Uh-uh. So, I want to introduce to you what we're going to be drinking. I'm going to make two drinks. It has bitter lemon, gin, and then Aperol on the top. Most of the shows I do, the drinks are already made. <laughs> it's just a bit. <laughs> the set's starting to make a little more sense. You know what I mean? I also got the second cheapest uh, gin you can buy. Next to Gordon's? Yeah. Or uh, Beef Eater. There's another one called Maxi. Shittier? Shittier, but way cheaper. Ah. Price of a 40, same price as a 26er. Oh, I didn't, where? At the SAQ on Mario. I didn't see that shit. Okay. But it's a bit of a worse hangover. Should we measure? Yeah. I'm talking into the fucking gin bottle. <laughs> Are you? I'm a little half cut, I'll be honest. <laughs> I had a few sponsorship free drinks before I came up here. I was always told as a young boy, mixing drinks for my father, that it's lots of ice. Ice to the rim, and then three fingers after the ice. Now I need the bitter lemon. Do you have a bottle opener? Now this bottle opener was made by my cousin, who's a blacksmith. And that's not his last name. Okay. Straight on, straight on. No, like yeah, yeah, well, yeah there. What are you making, an oil and water cocktail? <laughs> I I got a, uh, cheers. Ch chin chin. Okay, so let's see. I have no idea. Oh my god, it's way too strong. <laughs> I think I fucked this up. It's pretty good. Oh, you like it? Okay, good. Thank god. Tastes a little bit like a Negroni. <laughs> it's I real. said Negroni. <laughs> it's, it's the only N word you're allowed to say on the internet one time I, one time uh, the CRA called me about some tax shit and uh, they were asking me to spell my name and I was like and then you know how they'll be like spell, you spell the word that it's yeah. you know so I'd be like Q <laughs> like quick I'm like you like urethra I as in identification N as in Negroni <laughs> I said Negroni <laughs> I, said, I, I called her racist that's a new that's a new thing too whoever says it first you been man uh, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Working a lot. Working hard for the money. Fucking live in. You? Oh, yeah, man. Just friggin' laying low. Yeah. Trying to wait until this... Uh, just waiting until they come out and finally say COVID was a hoax. You know what I mean? Where I think we're about I, three weeks away. I know. I, dude, I got the fucking Pfizer vaccine. You got it? Yeah. I got it on Wednesday. The second day, my arm was killing me. Then that night... I, like, last night, like I woke up three in the morning... Fucking shivering, chills, leaking. It was insane. I was so... And then I'm like, dude, I was telling my girlfriend. My girlfriend's a scientist. She kept, she makes me feel better because she explains to me what the vaccine does. She's like, oh, it's a mRNA vaccine, which is just bits of DNA put into your body. Your body makes millions of this types of DNA. The DNA they're putting in your body is engineered to have no nothing. And then the serum that's used to bind it like the liquid jizz that's in the fucking uh, the serum that's in the vaccine they use it with all vaccines so I don't know it's not AstraZeneca AstraZeneca is a whole uh, right. different kid that was one of the other ones that have been recalled um, yeah. Johnson Johnson got recalled yeah yeah. I don't know this is like my girlfriend I so, just found it yeah. funny that I was like wearing rubber gloves and a mask and just not seeing anyone I loved or cared about for a year and a half I wouldn't have the fucking thing shot in my veins yeah doesn't that seem ironic I know 
So but we're not here to talk about vaccines. But you're, you're yeah, it's true. I'm not gonna get into. It. <laughs> They're like, uh, yeah, hi, Gabe. We can't. It's four and a half hours. We can't use thirty seconds of this. <laughs> so Bill Cosby's next on our discussion. Now he's a great man. Yeah. Funny yeah. guy. Yeah. So what are your plans for the summer? Like, are you gonna like do some crazy shit? Like, have some fun? I'll or be drinking a lot of the great gentlemen. Um, I know that much for sure. Yeah. Everything else is honestly, uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, what am I planning for the summer, man? Just get the brig out of the house, you know? Yeah. Back into the parks. I'm gonna. I'm hoping to get three, four STDs this summer. You know what I mean? So you wanna like party? Like that's what you like? Have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'd love to. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed playing Pictionary for the last nine months. <laughs> Those were good times, and I've already forgotten them. <laughs> but moving forward, I would like to do stuff that reminded me of the nineties. I know, kid. fuck. Like even, I know. Like living your life pre nine eleven, pre oh, the pain, dude. Pre nine eleven, that was those were good years. Yeah, I was watching yesterday with my girlfriend. We're watching Charlie's Angels, the the one from two thousand, and everyone was so happy in it. Like like the, they would show, like it was so overly sexualized, but it was like in a, in a tongue in cheek way, and you could mm-hmm. still could do that without it being like gross or like no one being offended because those three women. Uh, Charlie Theron, Lucy Liu, and Drew Barrymore is not that fucking whatever. She's right, okay. right, right. Well, that she's supposed to appeal to the every woman. <laughs> oh, shit, I hope she doesn't see this. <laughs> I don't think she will. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they're amazing. Like they're so hot, and it's so happy, crazy, silly. And then the next year, nine eleven happens, and uh, they're not allowed doing that anymore. No fun. Yeah, it's crazy. eh? You know what's funny about like you're talking about being hypersexual, but it's all okay. Mm-hmm. Um, why are we fighting sex so much? I don't know. It's such a weird thing because obviously, like, people don't realize their history. We've been fucking the whole way here. Yeah. To this up to this very moment, been yeah. nothing but a dirty or missionary. It depends who you're talking to. But it's been like everybody's been fucking. That's my point. Yeah. The range of to which uh, how dirty it got is besides the point. Yeah. But we've come from a long lineage of of uh, being horny. I, and I agree. Yeah. I, w- I used to be way hornier when I was younger. Do you feel like you're less horny? I feel like I'm hornier than ever. Yeah. The thing is, like, I'm in, like, a nice, like, I'm in a... Is it because you're in a relationship? Uh, yeah. But it's more like, uh, okay, cutting this part out. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it. Uh, I'm more... I think if you're in a long-term committed relationship, you got to turn it off a little bit. Yeah. That you definitely got to curb it, and uh, you can't be as perverted. No. You can't... Because otherwise, like, you're... Ho- like, I take all the energy I have, like, when I used to go on Tinder all the time and do all that crazy shit. I used to be, like, constantly on Tinder. I take all that energy and I put it in other things that, like, you know, that kind of make me happy. That's what I don't miss about the single life either is you do devote a lot of energy to trying to get laid. Yeah. When once you're, once you're in a relationship, sure, the sex is fucking, it's, all, it's whatever. <laughs> At least you're getting it, I guess. But now I'm reading books. Oh, yeah. Whereas before, I didn't have time. I was too busy swiping right. Yeah. I, it Because well, the thing is, like, with Tinder and being younger and handsomer when you're young, you're... It's Were you ever handsome? Uh. Yeah. Ah, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I peaked at around 16. I was a six. <laughs> I was pretty good when I was, like, 19, you know. Dude. But, uh, no, those were good times, man. I remember, like, doing... Like, the first year of doing comedy, I was, like, super single. Like, go, like I had nothing in my life. I was working at a shit. I, w- I was working at McKibben's, actually. That's with where you. we met. Yeah. More or less. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, exactly. I was doing that, and then I was doing comedy, and then I was just going on Tinder every single night. Now, McKibben's was a sad place to work. Eh? I worked there for three years. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I worked there for, like, six weeks. <laughs> yeah, you worked there for... I had an okay time because I was, like, busboying. It was easier. Like, uh, I was out in the front kind of chilling. You guys were, like, in a sweaty kitchen with, like, weird guys. Yeah, there was a lot of... Uh, it was sad, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't want to say anything because I don't... I don't, wanna, uh, I don't I incriminate mean, the cooks and everything. Oh, like, yeah. Well, I got fired. Sad. I got fired from there, right? Because I had a beer in my bag and somebody saw it and... Like two cooks hated each other, and I got, and they told the, um, the owner, and they just fired me on the spot because they thought like they, it was like they had like there's some grudge match going on in there, and I got caught in the crossfire basically. And I was telling them like I was 
like I got caught for beer. Everyone's like doing coke downstairs. Everyone's like right. like doing speed and like right. fuck like fucking each other in the ass. You know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know it's crazy. Exactly, man. That's why I worked there <laughs> for six weeks and got out. For six, yeah, well, that was all I could handle. That was good enough. But now you were you? Was it the beer from work? No, it was like you know, like your I, own beer. Yeah, in my bag. Oh, come on. What do you mean? What? Like, imagine. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, okay. I, yeah, I, yeah. One th- I thought that you were like, you grabbed a beer from there. Mm-hmm. I, I, I had it from like the day before or something in my bag. Yeah. You know, you just have like a fucking paps in your bag. It's yeah. just one random beer. And I got yeah. fired for that. That's I also drank true. like that beer at work in the back. We, had, we The thing is we would drink a beer every day at the beginning of our shift. Like be like, oh, the shift started. One thing that uh, this is, we're pretty good for this in Montreal, but the rest of Canada, I've worked in a few different kitchens in a few different provinces. And you can't drink on the job in most provinces in yeah. the kitchen. But in Montreal, it's kind of like, yeah, you can. If you're yeah. back there, you can do whatever you want. You could be like, drink. yo, give me a beer. Like, sure. Like, three like, and shots. let that be a, a lesson to all the restaurant owners out there across this great country. Yeah. If you got cooks in the back, they're pissed. Okay, they're, first of all, their childhood sucked. Everything sucked. And if they can have a beer while they're uh, yeah. making paninis, then they're going to do a better job. They're probably going to stay longer. It's so sad. Like, they're shitty line cooks working like flipping burgers, uh, not boiling uh, fries. What's it called Fr- deep fry- frying? <laughs> deep frying fries, and they're they, they they've read fucking that Anthony Bourdain book like No Boundaries or whatever okay. it's called, and yeah. they think they're fucking Anthony Bourdain. They're I like worked it for him, huh? Oh yeah, well yeah, he's dead, but like he before that he I, was that killing. Was <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was my joke. <laughs> you don't want to take advice from a guy who hangs himself. He right? Robin yeah. Williamed himself. Do you think what do you mean? Is that because he hung himself? Did he? I don't know. I, he just killed himself. They, See, I, I, every, yeah. But r- wasn't with Robin Williams? Wasn't it because he was getting dementia? Oh he yeah. Knew, he knew he was getting dementia. Fuck. Might have been Parkinson's. But a guy like that, like he's so rich, you know, you could probably like just no, but I don't spend think that, all your money on. I don't like, think that's what it was. Pillows. Robin Williams. I think what it was was like he was so great. Yeah. Like you watch his old. St- I know he didn't do stand up that much later in life, but. Yeah, I think right. if you are that great, you don't want to be seen as some guy, you know, yeah. in a chair, not remembering stuff. Yeah. You know what you are in terms of business? Mm. You're the fucking human version of the roller coaster that takes your photo. And then on the way out, they're like, yo, you want this thing? I know you didn't ask. Oh, you But think? if you want it, 25 bucks. Yeah. Because I that's know what, what you're you doing. Mean. You go yeah, to Fairmount exactly. Bagel, you get a bagel, you make a video with the bagel. Yeah. The next thing you know, Fairmount Bagel's going... Here's some bagels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I am smart. Like, and that's that's no diss, baby. That's no, 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 nothing I, but praise. I, no, I I didn't get the analogy, and then I got finally got it. No, I I totally. Yeah, I mean the only reason why. Okay, this is gonna sound really dumb. You know the comedian Byron Allen, the really shitty Comics Unleashed. Yeah, Comics Unleashed. I heard him on Mark Marin talking about mm-hmm. like there's another two- guy that's pretty unleashed. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting pretty shit fake, like I pretty know. tipsy off this fucking. It's pretty strong. I'll be honest, I was drunk when I got here. <laughs> but so he said, so there's show business, right? Show business. People just focus on the show. What about the business? And if you do a lot, if you get good business, you could do as many shows as you want. So I've done a lot of shows and I got no business. But now I'm going to do the business to get eventually the shows. Yes. I don't know. That's good advice, and I think the only advice I would return in kind to Byron Allen is, don't forget about the show, Byron. Yeah, yeah, but he focused on, like, fucking, he bought the Weather Channel or whatever, right? Like, he he's a bi- he's a billionaire now. Jeez, that's quite a market. <laughs> it's ever-changing. Ever <laughs> Fluctuates a lot. Holy shit. This, I don't know if it's the wooden straw. Oh, it's a straw? Yeah. I threw it out. I <laughs> <laughs> thought it was a stir stick. I was going <laughs> to poke my eye out with this thing. Uh, Oh shit! Fuck. Do you want the scars? The scars? Yeah. The scars? Cigars. Yeah. You got a couple cigars here, buddy. Oh yeah, I uh, I blew up on TikTok. It was crazy. A bunch of teenagers hated my guts. Yeah, dude, where's your microphone? Oh. <laughs> I was walking past oh. a young girl the other day. She said, um, just in passing, if you follow my TikTok, I'll suck your dick dog. What? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one follow and she'll do that. Like, just one person. She was like 14. I just kept walking. 
Are you, oh, that's fucking funny. Are you? I did follow, of course. <laughs> out of courtesy. Are you doing stand up? Is it tomorrow? Are you doing stand up? Show's been canceled due to uh, COVID. What the fuck? Bit of a bug going it's around. It's been <laughs> the, the show this guy started during COVID. Yeah, like a week ago. Yeah. And you know what's funny? You'll have to bleep out his name. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> text me being like, uh, yeah, show's canceled. Uh, st- can't, still aren't allowed to have more than 25 people in the backyard. And I'm thinking to myself, do I break into this guy that 25 people aren't showing up? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> or do I just say, like, cool. Dude, man. Yeah, I was supposed to do it next week. I went with the messenger thumbs up. Yeah. I like that thumbs up. You know what's crazy? I hate getting the thumbs up. I find it so condescending. And at the same time, I find myself just doing it all the time. Yeah, especially, like, work-related stuff is the easiest thing ever. Like, nobody... Right. It's like, hey, can you do this? Bang. Not like... Because I don't know... Saying okay sounds like you're like, okay, okay. But thumbs up is like, yes, sir. I think this is why everyone hates everyone now. Because we're just text messaging all the time. Yeah. So people think they're always being condescended to. Or they think that they're being, like not uh, appreciated but when really you're you're like I hate my phone not you you know mm-hmm. I just don't want to be on this fucking thing so I don't want to yeah. write a long piece of beautiful prose no. being like I'll meet you in the park when the sun is at dusk like <laughs> I'm just like five good <laughs> you know be there at five the worst is like because there's a uh, there's this app called slack that like a lot of like businesses oh, work I've with. got a slack account it's but like whenever you get a message it goes like 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 some knocking sound with like the weird it's, it's not like it's like i don't know it's a weird sound and every time i hear it my heart like skips a beat i feel like i'm about to get fired oh, someone's yeah. about like to i need to do something oh yeah my job is in peril like i i don't think we're meant to be working at like this is this is why i do all this for free for the off chance that eventually i'll never have to actually do something hard again and if it's hard then at least it's only me you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. fuck Fuck everything, man. Too old. I'm too old to have a job. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I didn't think I'd still be working, to be honest, at this age. Yeah? But uh, here we are. But you know what's crazy? Like, if the work, if it's kind of cool, you can get into it. You know, work your bag off. Mm-hmm. But if it's not fulfilling, you don't even want to do the bare minimum. Yeah. It's kind absolutely. of an interesting psychological. Yeah. You have to, like, trick yourself into thinking, this is fucking amazing and it's helping me as much as it's helping them. Right, right. You got to feel like something in it for you. Yeah. And That's, yeah. I think I'm going to call this show Gluggin' with Gab. Gluggin' with Gab. Maybe. I don't know. Do you consider the possibility of Gabbin' with Gab? Yeah. Too much Gab. Gluggin'. I don't know. I'm thinking of just getting, instead of making cocktails so awkward, like having like a big jug and like that has like a little nozzle and just have it pour into a cup with the mix already in. You could do cigars the same way you're doing the tonic, the great gentleman tonic water. The thing is, I, su- I don't, I think I, I lit the wrong side. Is that a possibility or are or, or both sides the same? Does it matter? I don't know. They both look the same. Oh. I got these, I got these from Stogie's. The the bar, the famous bar. Oh yeah, is you ever go smoke in that place? Like inside, hanging out. I just went in there to buy something, dude. It's the most it's the douchiest. Like everything's purple. I don't oh, know yeah. if it's still purple. Yeah. Well, I went in there and uh, I said to the lady cocktail waitress there, pretty gal. <laughs> I said, uh, "Give me uh, two of the cheapest cigars." <laughs> you uh, she was a little flustered. <laughs> she's not used to that. I said, not those ones in the glass case, bitch. The ones in the bowl on the counter by the register, too. <laughs> oh, man, I miss stand-up because that's like a joke that like, I'd be like, ha, eh. you know, good times. But it's a good joke or it's a bad joke? No, it's funny. Oh, yeah. like a little cigar right in the two front two teeth there. Spit it on my dog there. <laughs> Holy shit. Pearl, how are you? <laughs> I get drunk. Do you uh, do you drink a lot? I remember at one point you stopped drinking, right? Stopped drinking for a bit, as a result of drinking too much. You know? What'd you do? What's that? What, what'd you do in the like, off time? Yeah, just depressed. Really? Why? Stop drinking. What brought you back? The desire for happiness. Oh yeah. Desire for some sublime sense of it all. 
But did you like uh, do? I don't know. I mean, didn't, weren't you like going like non uh, gluten or whatever it's called, or for a little bit? like a little bit? I don't know if your viewers are curious to know, but yeah, I was shitting about fourteen times a day, all liquid. Really? Oh yeah. What? Wait, like I went to a few different doctors. I had blood work done. I had a guy fucked me for a bit. I had everything. And then they always said, "Oh, everything's fine. You're totally healthy." And then I said to them, "I'm shitting 14 times a day, all liquid." And they go, "Oh, that's not healthy." Fucking hell! I know. So I was like, "Well, am I healthy or not healthy?" They're like, "If you're shitting 14 times a day, all liquid, you're about as good as dead." The guy said. <laughs> this was an off-duty pharmacist, so <laughs> we'll see. But uh, so I made some dietary changes. I had to restore my gut's local flora and fauna. Holy fuck! For how long? Four months. Dang. Now I'm just right back at it. Re- but like, are you better now? Like, you're not shitting a- horribly now. Now it's like six to eight times a day. Semi-soft. Six to eight. Six, six to eight. Oh no, yeah, but that's what I meant. I mean, but <laughs> honestly, lately it's been like five times a day. It's not bad. Five. T- Dang. Is it liquid? Soft. It's all over the place, to be honest. Dang. My girlfriend. So my girlfriend gets mad every time I take a shit. Cause, really? cause she like we are. That's say, fair. Let's say we go for a walk, right? We're having a nice walk. I'm like, I have to shit, and she's like, you're ruining the fucking walk. We have to go find a place to shit. Man, I biked up here. Just got here. Had to shit. Had to go home and come back. Fuck. Yeah. Dang. So let's say. That's why I don't leave the block? <laughs> That's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit. What if you're on? Especially the- in the COVID times, because now, like, now, you go to a place and you go. I, I, I got, can I use your bathroom? They'll go, no, because of COVID. Yeah. And I'm like, I thought we were all in this together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Remember God. Remember the pas bien aller. So what do, you, what do you think led, like, what were the choices that happened that led to you? Because you weren't drinking that much. You were, like, ha- you're drinking as much as any fucking comic in Montreal. You weren't drinking more or less. Well, no, but the thing is, like, living at the loft, at their loft, like, any like the guests that come like you for example yeah. it's, like, it's your night to party yeah but i live there yeah so every night it's like some guys it's one night true. off but i'm there every night just carrying on every night dude i show up and i'm like let's fucking wake up like we're like like we're gonna be dead like you know like let's just get right. the fuck that's out how here. a lot of people show up yeah and i'm not one to disappoint <laughs> you know like you you, you show up we show up and there's like 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 a shit ton of beer everywhere. It's the best. Dude, I miss the art loft. Like, anytime I meet up with, like, any comic, all we ever say is, like, like what, is the art loft? Like, the art loft is the best show ever, and we wanted to come back, and that's the only, like, the best part of comedy was the art loft, you know? In Montreal, anyway. It'll come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have plans to bring it back. I think September. Yeah? Shit. Wait till the summer's over. How about another cocktail? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a gin tonic. Just a straight up gin tonic. Oh, yeah. This is what the holidays. Not bad. What's this is what the holidays are all about. Yeah. I miss like Christmas time because like uh, all of December is just is whiskey and eggnog month basically and. Yeah, fun, and then people say you're drinking too much. I'm like, it's the holidays, it's fun, it's relaxing, eggnog, sitting down. Because I, I, t- I take off the whole month. Like, I do barely any, like, job-related work. I I don't do... I The month of December. December, yeah. It's amazing. It's the best. It's my favorite month. Every other month, I, I, I feel like I'm on a treadmill, and I'm trying to run away just run away from like everything and like but i'm on the treadmill you know i'm trying to run towards something but then december i just forget it you know and then i, I go all the way back that's a funny month uh. to pick i find mo- well december can be kind of stressful right oh really yeah because like christmas it's all these different events right yeah trying to see family trying to trying to cram it all into one uh i'm basically just talking about christmas not yeah. December. I think Christmas, like, my, all my family lives in fucking Montreal, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas was canceled anyway, so what's the point? It doesn't matter. I saw, like, some... Canceled. I saw you know some I mean? family. I think some of us still got together. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I know I did. Me, just me and the politicians, I guess. <laughs> yeah. God, do you think all the politicians in Canada are going to just get shit-canned and then replaced by, like, super conservative politicians or something? Or that, like, will never, ever lock anything down ever again? Or just gonna stay they're the all, same. They're all the same. 
yeah. to me. I don't think there's a great deal of difference between conservative or liberal politicians yeah. in Canada. No, in Canada, yeah, yeah. Like Maybe you, in different countries. I don't know everybody's political system, yeah. but the conservatives and the liberals in Canada, they're two peas of the same pot. Yeah. One admits it and one doesn't. Yeah. The conservatives are like, yeah, we want this and that. But but then, and then and then they even kind of like don't go as conservative as like their conservative constituents mm-hmm. constituents want them to. Yeah. And then the Liberal Party isn't as left as their like constituents want them to. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. I don't know what the word constituents means, but I hear it. Isn't it just like a dude? You're gonna see. You represent. Yeah, like the people that like you. Yeah, because like them? that's the thing. It's like the the conservatives will come in and be like, "We're gonna if you get us in, we'll have no carbon tax. We're yeah. cutting all the red tape." Then they get in, they're like, "Ah, maybe a little carbon tax, maybe a little red tape." And then the liberals <laughs> are gonna be like, "We're gonna have no borders. It's gonna be a fucking nothing but high socks and parades." And then they get in, they're like, "Oh, the socks aren't gonna get that high." And so it's like, you know, it's all the same shit, baby. Yeah, it's crazy. I, 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 I hate to say it, but the older I get, the more I'm like, I don't give a fuck about voting anymore. I hate to say it, and I know people died for doc. I watched documentary on democracy. Yeah. No. But I, I feel like people, I don't know. I get why people are mad when they're like, I don't want to vote. It's like, you know how many people died so you could vote? Yeah. And I get that side of it, but then I'm also like, I've voted in every election I was available to do so, mm-hmm. eligible to do so. And I've never felt uh, like I did anything right. Yeah. Or yeah. like that I, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, okay. Last time I voted for Jagmeet Singh. Oh yeah, well, because he he's on like that didn't work social yet. media. He's on t- he's all like handsome or whatever. Yeah, they didn't do shit. Yeah. Like if you're, I don't know, I don't know anything about these politicians other than like they like they talk good, and that's right. all. They talk good and they're convincing. Right. And you don't know what they're even saying. You know what would be crazy though? Like imagine if a guy, imagine if a politi- or a girl, imagine if a politician came by, who was like Trump but wasn't Trump like as in in the sense of like they told it like it was mm-hmm. but they didn't have they weren't fucking Trump yeah do you know what I mean because like Trump's like his whole thing was I tell it like it is yeah but he's also a nut bar a narcissist yeah wacko so imagine like a regular guy or gal who's like I tell it like it is but I'm yeah. also not I wasn't formerly a reality TV show uh-huh. host I'm not like the son of a billionaire et cetera, et cetera. yeah I don't know who the f- wouldn't that be great yeah Who's this? Uh, oh man! Now, Terminator was one of those movies where I went, I don't know what's going on. Why? What do you mean? What what's do you he doing there? And, uh, cool graphics, but who is he? Terminator? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so fuck. I'm just. Gonna, I guess I'll exp- like so. Um, so it all started with a guy that started a company that like created like AI, right? Mm-hmm. And then the AI slowly like developed, and then they kind of like realized that humanity was like useless or whatever they didn't they didn't see them as like an enemy they basically saw them as like just like oh we could use them as a way to power us and so the humans started to rebel and then so the ai created the terminator to 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 destroy all the humans and then the one of the guys went back in time to destroy that company that started it all and the terminator followed him back in time that was basically the story Man, that's a pretty cool concept. Yeah, that's fuck. Isn't that sick as fuck? That'd make a great movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it is ah uh, shit, dude. You know what's funny? It would make a great movie. I feel like me describing that movie is probably better than the movie. It but, was, but I, no was way, dude. Terminator is fucking amazing. Terminator One was a horror film, and Terminator Two was like a crazy science fiction action movie. Mm. Really, they're they're sick ass movies. What's your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie. I love. I used to love Lost in Translation. What happened? You ever watched that movie? Yeah, it's great. Uh, I haven't seen it in a long time. I saw it maybe like a few years, like a couple of years ago. Still, it was fucking amazing. It was like. But what, you say it used to be it did something. Take I don't know. Place. I like the. Th- I like. I'm becoming older and le- and like I try to hide my feelings and shit. So like, I like uh, the thing. You ever watch the thing? Yep. I love that. It's like my one of Man, that, you, you find when you get old. I find I'm the opposite. Like really? I feel like as I get older, I'm less afraid to hide my feelings. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like as a younger man, I was way more terrified. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Like when you're when I was younger, I was more vulnerable. Now I'm trying to like, you, until I'm established as a person, like really, really established, then I can start to let things show. But w- until I'm there, I, I I need to just be like a stone 
cold. Basically, until Spotify killer. gives you a hundred million dollars, <laughs> yeah. you're not going to give your opinion on the vaccine. <laughs> I got the vaccine, and it, and my opinion was that it really hurt. And it was a big baby. I'll there. get it if they make me get it. Really? You think they're going to make you get it? I don't know. I'm just saying that's the nah. only way I'll get it. I don't like this whole QR code thing on your phone. I don't know what that. What's that? They're like they're giving you a code now that goes on your phone that they're not using it for anything yet, but like restaurants, and businesses want to start implementing. That, that they said that I don't know if the government's gonna do it, but they want to start implementing, like scanning a code whether or not you're vaccinated or not to go into bars, restaurants. This all seems like a pretext for social. Uh, what's the phrasing? They what they say it like, like a social values system or whatever mm-hmm. where it's like yeah whatever they have in china where it's like yeah you can fly here if you you know are you're this good of a yeah. contributor to society it's crazy like you're not even allowed leaving the country if you're like lower level person you can't leave the country and you're it's sad because there's no country you'd rather leave <laughs> china seems cool like cool to go to visit like it looks yeah, it's to visit yeah. mexico city's cool to visit yeah exactly i don't want to live there no never been there but maybe do you want to like i'd live who the fuck? Then? I like Montreal, man. People like shit on Montreal. They say it's like full of bums, but Montreal's a great city. Yeah, Montreal's a very classless city. Mm-hmm. I would say. I think that's what's nice about it. But there's like, if you go over down there, there's like Westmount. Well, no, there's money and there's yeah. and there, there are haves and have-nots. But it's in terms of how it's you'll always have that. But in terms of how the haves perceive the have-nots, yeah, or vice versa, even I feel like it's pretty. Um, harmonious. Mm-hmm. Like you Whereas, can, like, there's yeah. other cities where, like, they'll straight up just be like, this guy's a bum, get him off my yeah. block. Whereas, I feel like Montreal, a bum could be outside a guy's restaurant and he gives them some leftover hash browns or whatever. The, you yeah. Know, like, or, you know what I mean? I see that all the time. I see restaurateurs giving uh, homeless people food all the time. Yeah. I and mean, you don't see that in a lot of other places. But even, like, when, when I said bums, I meant, like, a guy that. Like a, like an artist or whatever. You That's know? what I meant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's funny. I was telling my friend like I used to live in Park X, and all my friends their their idea of the plateau is like, oh, it's full of painters and sculptors and dancers, and I'm like, it's just people just walking around. It's not really like it's a little bit of that, but not like we're not like such an arts community. Like I feel like everyone's doing their own fucking thing. It like behind closed doors, mm-hmm. you know. Like, and would we want to co- collaborate? I don't know. I guess we guess we could, but I guess we're collaborating. This is a collab. Yeah, we're breaking all. We're breaking the yeah. internet right now. Yeah. The local community plateau internet. Yeah, I'm gonna post like two, like, fifteen seconds of this on TikTok. Really blow up again? Yeah. So you blew up on TikTok making yeah. fun of children. Uh, no, I wasn't making. I was making fun of this 19 year old kid, for his whole thing was. Um, so he's doing this one month challenge of like not drinking off, not uh, not only taking cold showers, working out like seven days a week, a uh, bunch of other like just a bunch of shit that like 19 year old, every 19 year old ev- like always goes through basically where they think I'm going to go straight edge. My life is shit. I need to like I need to straighten things out. And all I said was every 19 year old goes through this phase and all but really all you're getting is like blue balls. But anyway, like everybody freaked the fuck out. And uh, I got a lot of hor. I got five thousand comments in that video, and three thousand were shitting on how I look. Like shitting. Like you read them all. Well, my girlfriend read. I didn't read like I read maybe a hundred, but my girlfriend read a lot of them. And she parsed through and read you the bad ones. Well, she like a lot of them. Were, some of them were defending me, but like, dude, people were saying like. They said, oh, he looks really musty and shitty. He looks gross. And then people below were saying, like, no, no, no. Like, look at his other videos. He looks nice. And they're having, like, an argument on whether or not I look gross or not. And it was, like, a hundred common thread of just people talking about. And now, I'm, do you comment on the internet? I, I comment being like, what the fuck are you guys doing? But, I mean, in general, are you, do you comment? No, maybe. I like on Reddit, but not anymore. I'm too scared that people are going to hack me. Like, I'll have a bad opinion. People are like, who the fuck is this guy? Right, right. And then, like, so I don't really ever comment. Because I, I always write out the comment, and I'm like, what am I going to post this? And I always cancel, delete it. Yeah, I have no desire to do that. Dude, but these kids, but, so there was, like, five things in common they all said. They all called me Beta. They all called me Coomer. 
know what Coomer means? Kumar, like Harold and Kumar? No, no, no. C O O M E R. It means um, like a, a man that overly masturbates and like, uh, like lives with his mom. Like a guy that just jerks off constantly. And I'm like, that's not. What are you fucking what? So they all just think. Well, that, that one would have cut. <laughs> I don't. But the thing is, I don't overly masturbate at all. Just the right amount. I, You're I, the Goldilocks of masturbation. Pro- Dude, once every few days at this point. Really? Yeah. Speak for yourself. Shit. You're a coomer, man. I'm a coomer. <laughs> You're a coomer. But I'm such a coomer, I left my fucking pocket pussy in the bathroom last night. <laughs> Forgot it. You have it. a pocket pussy? Pocket asshole, but <laughs> same thing. It's a, few it? bucks. it's a few bucks more, but it's worth it. Dang, I never used one of those. How is it? Yeah, me neither. No, that's good. Oh. No, it's good. It's it's too good. Mm. You know? Because it never gets you in trouble. What do you mean? It's like, never mad at you. Oh, but like it's never upset that you forgot it's birthday again. If I got a year? pocket pussy and my girlfriend saw the pocket pussy, I'd get in trouble. Really? Yeah. It'd be a lot. It'd be like, why the fuck? You could, uh, eh, whatever. You don't want them to think that they could be replaced. No. Well, the thing is, like, she, her argument would be like, why use this pussy when I got a pussy right in? Right. <laughs> so right. That's right. 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 No, well, that's fair. That's fair. That is so gross. I can't believe there's no way they're gonna see this and be like, "Yeah, we want to do, yeah, we, we want like to do it. a we second like series with you." <laughs> yeah, we want more. We want this more. This is so gross. And it's called we the. We want great more pl- anti-vax pocket <laughs> pussy talk. <laughs> and <there's, laughs> it's insane because it's called the Great Gentleman, and there's this is the most dirt. We are great gentlemen, though. For this, well, for the, we're, the reason we're great gentlemen is because we're honest. Yeah. And there should be somebody said for that. <laughs> Pearl gets it. <laughs> yeah, the dirty dog. Montreal is the best parks, basically. Like, I've been to London, and the, London has, like, three parks, but they're the f- fucking the size of, like, cities, basically. Like, small towns. L- London, England. London. London. Who uh, wants some spice? Go to park. Go, go, go to Hyde, Hyde Park. Is right over, uh, uh, I remember I was talking to you once. I was shit-faced. I was, like, just talking, 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 and in the middle sentence, you just start taking pictures. <laughs> and I was like, dude... Dude, I was like, I, that, I, oh my god! Like, I caught myself. I'm like, oh, dude, I was being a shit faced crazy person for a second. Oh, I don't, really, I don't remember that. I was probably just into the, the photo. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. I just, no, I enjoy time with you. No, we have fun. We'd- All right, guys, thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. This is Quinn McMorrill, and this is me. And uh, we drank beer. We drank gin, gin, and and uh, any last words? You know what's crazy is like you just reminded me that we were on tape. <laughs> Like as soon as you were like, "This is Quinn," I was like trying to sit up straight. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dude, I was that, just that drunk in the it's park. been three hours. Can you believe it? Has it? Yeah, it's been three. Has it? That's been this went hour. by faster <laughs> than when I did Rogan. You are so good at what you do. So good. Shit. What a great gentleman. Goodbye.